the uh, Master's in Forensic Psychology program here at the Graduate School of Professional Psychology at DU is really um, a community of people. It's really about a group of folks who are interested in the intersection of law and psychology and um, working to make the field and our community a better place in those arenas. Our program is a two-year uh, master's clinical program and our students start almost from the very beginning doing practicum work and uh, field placements going into the community working with clients in a variety of different capacities. They have at least two placements over the two years. They receive a variety of uh, uh, supervision and mentorship from our community supervisors and uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, growth along the way. Our students often describe the program as transformative. I think you don't come out of a program like this one uh, the same person that you came into the program as. In interacting with our faculties, also with my classmates, um, it's been super cool to meet so many different people with so many different backgrounds and like what they're interested in. Um, and I think it allows us to create this um, like awesome group of people with so many different ideas. Um, and then when we come together as a whole, then we're able to um, create new ideas and work together, support each other, um, and then also just give each other like new perspectives to look at. It helps you grow personally um, because you're also growing collectively. It's been awesome to meet faculty that are so prominent in our field um, and they are so well connected and they work on so many different projects. The contributions that they make to the field of forensic psychology is completely amazing. We all have so many diverse avenues that we want to work in. Um, some people want to go to the FBI, some people want to work with juveniles, other people work with sex offenders, substance abuse, uh, competency restoration, um, co-responders. So there's just a wide variety of what we bring to the table. And I think we've done a great job of sharing uh, opinions while being respectful, but then also just, um, I guess just helping each other grow our knowledge base. I think we're a pretty, a pretty fun group and I think we've gotten along. We like to do things outside of the classroom, which we haven't got to do a lot of since COVID-19, unfortunately. But uh, the first year and going into like the beginning part of the second year, we spent a lot of time like doing things outside of the cohort, trying to get groups together. And just like, like I said, knowing each other on a personal level, which I feel like also um, supplements the professional relationship as well. This is a journey that starts long before even interview day. And um, to be able to share this, this little bit of it with them means the world to me and our incredible faculty, our amazing staff who do so much behind the scenes work, um, our postdoctoral fellows who have been there in really impressive ways for our students, uh, mentoring them, guiding them, and um, in some cases, baking for them. Uh, and so I think um, that I would want to welcome our new graduates into this community of caring and uh, relationship and to say that I along with um, sort of everyone who has come before them am eager to to see what they do with this extraordinary opportunity that they have earned. It has been an absolute amazing experience to meet so many people from so many parts of the U.S. Um, we have a very diverse group of people. Um, we all come from different backgrounds. Um, we even come from different educational backgrounds. And I think it's awesome for us to all be able to come together. And I think my cohort has so many big ambitions and dreams. And I look forward to seeing where everyone in my cohort goes um, down the line. I think we are literally going to be change makers to me, the experience of graduating right now is mind blowing just because of how fast the time went um, and how I feel like 
sometimes when you're moving so fast through things and you have so many moving parts, it's kind of hard to appreciate the process. But I think like after, like once graduation approaches and you start reflecting on your time, you're like, well, this really has been a very rich experience, even while in the process, things may have been difficult along the way. Completing a master's degree in clinical psychology is an extraordinary accomplishment in any given year. And this is not any given year. I want to acknowledge that there are empty seats at the table. And although this is a celebratory day and rightfully so, I would be remiss if I didn't say um, that there are folks who for a variety of reasons aren't here celebrating with us. And even as we honor our graduates here today, we honor and remember them as well. For the graduates we are honoring today, you have done something remarkable in remarkable times. You didn't do it alone, and many of you have a community of support behind you that might look like uh, loved ones, friends, family members, parents, grandparents, caretakers of all kinds um, who have sacrificed and stood behind you every step of the way. For others, it may be partners or created families, found families, communities of, um, of friends, uh, even your own children uh, who have been there, along with, of course, our amazing adjunct faculty, our community supervisors who have provided of their uh, expertise and mentorship because they care deeply about you and they care about the next generation of, um, of folks who will be taking over it in the field and our faculty and administrators and staff who again um, I just want to say a thank you to them for everything they have done to help make this quarter possible and your educational experience possible. I'm gonna miss having all the knowledge given to us so easily um, it's like when you're in school, you're like, oh, you know, this has been a journey. I'm kind of tired. I'm ready to leave. But uh, once you leave, I feel like you start to realize that the information doesn't come as easy. Um, it's just given to us by our professors. They just have so much knowledge. Many of us have dedicated our careers uh, to trying to shape the next generation and to leave the field better than we found it. And we could not be more proud of you who are taking the baton. I am excited for everyone. Um, I look forward to staying in touch with everyone. And I'm, I also look forward to calling all of my classmates colleagues in the future and having these great connections with such amazing people. Congratulations to the MAFP class of 2020. Thank you for everything you have done to make it through this program. Uh, to thrive and to face the challenges you face this quarter and the challenges we know you're going to face in your career. The obstacles are large. The times are difficult and changing. You are going to um, face ongoing instances of injustice and inequality and racism. There are going to be challenges that we haven't even thought of that it's going to be up to your generation to meet head on. But we have absolute confidence that you can do it. The challenges you face are many, but you are up to it. We are proud of you and to each and every one of you and to your communities, we say a heartfelt congratulations.